Hello, I'm John and today I'm going to do a walk at Mount Victoria. I'm parked here at the end of Canimbala Valley Road. You can find that on the maps you've just seen. And I've parked at the end of the bitumen because it's easier here to do so. The walk takes you around to the little zigzag down into the Canimbla Valley along the track to Wilson's Glen, up through Rhinitz Pass, Pulpit Rock and back to this point. It should take two to three hours altogether. The first part of the track just goes along a fire road, an access road to a number of properties along here. It's a bit awkward getting out if you drive down here. Over to the left here is the track to Pulpit Rock. You can see it through the trees there. And the information board about this track. Well, we're going to continue along here until we come to the other access into the valley, the little zigzag, returning by the track we just saw down to Pulpit Rock. By the way, this is not the Pulpit Rock at Blackheath. Quite different. After a few minutes, we arrive at the point where the track branches off going down into the valley. Here it is, over here. Straight opposite here is the causeway on Victoria Pass. The track zigzags down the mountainside. We're just crossing through the level of the Mount Victoria Claystone. A prominent bed in the Triassic sediments seen all over this part of the Blue Mountains. Let's follow this track around here to the left. This is a group from the Nepean Bushwalking Club making their way back to the top. As you can see, we're coming to the branch track to Bush Rangers Cave. Though whether this cave had anything to do with Bush Rangers is very much open to dispute. If they did come here, they had a great view.
obviously a popular place with graffitiists, especially fairly recent ones. I know there's more to the cave than what we've just seen but that's as far as our time will allow today what a great place back to the little zigzag track again this is a rock climbers track that heads off on our right we keep going down. We're approaching the bottom of the descent now. Our track goes off to the left, and to run its pass and then up to Pulpit Rock. The little zigzag track continues down into the valley. The track now winds through a lot of rich fern growth. We're down below the base of the cliffs. A lot of original track work can be seen along here. Rocks which have been dug out to make a fairly level track. We're turning up into the gully now that comes down past Ross Cave. It's becoming cooler and damper. This part is known as Wilson's Glen and we'll soon be coming up against the base of the sandstone cliffs.
well I've just had an afternoon tea break at this point this is the bottom of the second line of cliffs and we'll follow this track around and have a quick look at this waterfall it's only according to the sign 150 meters it's a rough 150 meters but well worth it The track now continues up through Wilson's Glen up to the top of the sandstone plateau. The track has been following up this little creek which comes down from Ross Cave area and we're now coming to another junction. We are going left today. This is the gully up which the track has just come. And heading up there to Ross Cave. We've nearly reached Pulpit Rock and the end of the walk. Still climbing however. Tracks now coming out at Pulpit Rock. Mount Blackheath straight over there.
this is where we began well nearly the car's just up here and I see something very spectacular just over here 